the historical city of Delhi, the capital of India, the northern part of the country with such iconic landmarks, a red fort there, the Jama Masjid, and so much more. India Gate will be forming the centerpiece for Republic Day, which happens in just five days from now. Also some history here, the KD Jada Vindo Hall, part of the Indra Gandhi Stadium in uh, Delhi is hosting the HSBC BWF India Open 2023. It's the second of 31 events on the new calendar that's been released by the Badminton World Federation. Uh, and they've really upped the tournaments. They've uh, promoted this one from a Super 500 to a Super 750. And there's a bit of symmetry. We'll be in the city of Lucknow right at the end of the season before the World Tour Finals. A lot of time between now and then, of course, our focus here is on court one, the semi-final stage now of the India Open. It's uh, Wang Yiliu and Huang Dongping, the uh, Olympic champions, playing Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Eun of Korea. That's the very first match. Then moving into the singles, we've got uh, the world number one, Akane Yamaguchi, playing uh, a bit of a surprise package in Super Nida from Thailand. And then to the uh, Mixed doubles, is there a better pair of any kind in uh, badminton at the moment? Chung So Wei and Huang Ya Chong in the, uh, the number one Chinese pair playing Yuta Watanabe, Arisa Higashino. That will be an interesting one in the mixed doubles. We'll move to the women's singles, and this one is a, a battle of the big guns. Herbing Zhao of China, the fourth seed, takes on the second seeded Korean, An Se Yam. And then Kun Lavut, who has really risen up the ranks and uh, catching the eye. The Thai shuttle of the eighth seed is up against Anthony Ginting of Indonesia, the sixth seed. That's the first half of the day, the second half of the matches, second five matches for you. Quite a lot to look forward to. Uh, the one, of course, that would stand up, Victor Axelson, is playing Jonathan Christie in the men's singles. So we'll uh, go back to that first match and the draw here in the mixed doubles. There's a, it's a really intriguing semi-finals there. Could we have an all-Chinese final? Zhang and Huang versus Wang and Huang. We'll find out a little bit later. So, let's see the players then making their way out. To some acclaim. We have uh, a bit of a crowd coming up here, at least making us some noise. Good to hear. And uh, yeah, they are the redoubtable pair of Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping, Olympic uh, champions as well. Perhaps a bit of a surprise. World Championships, silver in 2018, a couple of bronzes in 2019, and of course the recent World Champs in Tokyo a few months ago. So the Emma Cup winners in 2019 and 2021 as well. Kim Won Ho and Jong Na out next. They've got quite the task on their hands here. Yeah, these two. And uh, Jong has got it twice today because she's going to be playing in the women's doubles a little bit later on as well. So she's got quite a lot going on. And uh, you know what? also keeping an eye out on uh, an injury that perhaps she suffered yesterday on her left hand. Keep an eye on that for you. Hello, Juan. With me here in the commentary position, Steve Pedersen. Steve, very good morning, or very good, good afternoon, morning. I should say now. And uh, how are things going today? Looking forward to these matches? Yeah, I think we have some really exciting matches uh, in front of us here today. Uh, starting up with the first one here, Red. where Hold it's the Olympic champions that Red. is um, out for revenge. Wang with Sol, they are serving this end. This, this side? Okay. So the uh, 
toss has been done. We're going to find out a little bit more about these players. It's good to see some of the uh, fans still here, despite no presence of uh, Indian players for a couple of days now. Find out a little bit more about these uh, players. So Kim Wonho, 23 years of age. He's uh, just over six foot tall, 184, from Suwon, and currently at his best ranking. His partner Jong Na Eun, who's uh, 22 from the capital Seoul. Uh, one six seven, and uh, yeah, going to be playing later on in the women's doubles semi-finals as well. She's got a lot of work to do today. This is their path so far. They've dropped uh, a game so far. Uh, of course, that was uh, quite the scalp they took against Wav uh, and Terra Tanachai. Uh, that one will stand out. Otherwise. Uh, Fairly straightforward so far against Hall and McPherson, Yamashita and Shinoya in the quarterfinals. So that's where she may have just hurt herself, Jong Nun with the left hand. Wang Yi Liu is uh, just slightly taller than his counterpart Kim Won Ho, 185 from Zhejiang, 28 years of age. They are, of course, former world number one pair. Wang Dongping, uh, 165, more or less the same height as her counterpart from the south of China, Fujian. Such an impressive pair on their day. Now let's tell you about their path here to the semi finals. They were pushed by Matthias Christiansen and Alexander Boyer in three. That was a tight one. Ready to that, play? Uh, game that they lost. They've had a fairly straightforward time otherwise. What? Your thoughts on ahead of this one, Steve? How do you see this one panning out as we look at uh, Rai Ajendra from uh, India? Uh, um, interesting because um, Kim and uh, Jong beat the Olympic champions uh, last week in uh, yeah. Kuala Lumpur. Um, so winning the two games narrowly here we see Yang Ming to the right and head coach of the doubles department and president of Batman's in China, Zhang Jun, former double Olympic gold medalist in the mixed doubles. So he's come on court today. And I don't know if Yang Ming has picked up an injury because he was limping as he came off the bus here. Late morning, arriving in um, the arena. Um, so they won two games narrowly last week mm. in um, in um, KO, and uh, I think they will be hungry for a revenge. The two Chinese players are not playing together next week in Indonesia. They're playing with uh, different partners. What's the thinking behind that one, Kim? changing of the partners for next week? Yeah, that's that's a good question. Um, uh, Ladies please. and gentlemen, oh, let's get back to it. On my yeah. right, Kim Won Ho and Jiang Nayun, Korea. <laughs> and on my left, Huang Dongping and Wang Iliu, China. Wang Dong Ping to Seoul to Jiang Kim Wan Ho. Love all. Play. So it's the uh, Chinese to get us going. Wang Dong Ping to Seoul. Oi. Oh, great kill. 
by uh, One. Huang Dongping. Love. Yeah, nice kill there. Nice way to start things emphatically. Yeah. No, I think um, from uh, from what I've been able to uh, read, um, Wang Yilu has had um, recurring injuries um, towards the end of both the 2021 and 2022 season. And uh, that's, of course, a worry in the Chinese camp, especially now they have Wang Yachong and Jiang Siwei yeah. playing really well again. Right. So uh, I think they want to test um, the former world junior champion Feng Yanqi with um, Huang Dongping. Uh, they played in the European swing. Wang Yilu wasn't <coughs> in Europe um, in the fall here. Huang Dongping played um, Denmark, French, and uh, Hilo Open with uh, Feng Yanqi. Reached the final of uh, of the Denmark Open and, um, and played really well there. So um, I guess they want to test the waters and see where. The two pairs are standing, and then uh, Wang Yilu is teaming up with uh, Du Yue from so the women's so doubles, who's previously played um, a very strong mixed double with uh, He Jiting, but um, China already had um, two extremely strong pairings, and basically in terms of Olympics, so so yeah, you're not really I mean, <laughs> of course, you would like to have a strong pairings, but you can only maximum have two entries per category per nation in the Olympics. Hey, it's, it, it's interesting so because so we two, saw Huang four. and Tang separated last year for a little while at the start of the year and it, it didn't really work out, did it? And they, they brought them back together again. Yeah, and that's also a possibility uh, that... Uh, I Wang Yilu might come back again with Huang? Yeah, I think so. Um, Yeah, if uh, these two go on to uh, win the tournament, I'm sure that's always going to be in the back of the minds. There's still, of course, a pair to be reckoned with. Long and Huang. Yeah, and also giving the um, the strength of uh, Huang Dongping. Uh, I mean, if um, if Huang Yilu is not capable of um, so uh, enduring the um, workload of a full season, mm. then um, you have one of the absolute best female mixed doubles players in the world uh, in a pair that um, perhaps has little future. But so far, they've been playing well. She's a strong women's doubles player as well. And I think she could also be perhaps in uh, a combination there. That's well played That's by strong. the Koreans. Yeah. Nice done there by Kim Won-ho. Four, five. Very bright start to this set. Uh, Match so far from both pairs. Beautifully placed. Number all square. On. Rid of the shuttle. There's some uh, Chinese fans just to our left to provide that bit of cheer. For uh, Wang and Huang. Great power. Well done, 
middle there from Kim Won Ho. Six, five. Was that a surprise for you, Steen, last week that they beat Wang and Huang at the Malaysia Open? Yeah, that was a big surprise. That was, um, we, we've been used to uh, the Korean mixed doubles campaign, more or less uh, banking on Su Sung Jae and Che uh, Jung. Uh, six on. And now it seems like these two here are emerging on the World scene. A reminder that went to three, and it was a very, very tight match. It was, uh, last two Seven, games, it was 22 six. 20, 23 21. Pushed all the way. Going to see something similar here, and then you compare it to early in the year, the Malaysia Open, the previous Malaysia Open. Hey. Yeah, met in the quarterfinals. Seven, one, one, seven, one, one, on. Twenty-one, eight, twenty-one, sixteen. Yeah, that was <laughs> convincing. So. Yeah. Um. Huang helps set that one up. So we saw Huang finish eight, it off. Seven. Not much to separate these two at the moment. Started out making a name for herself in women's doubles with uh, Kim Hai Jong. And apparently the uh, strong performances and self confidence has rocked up off in uh, a mixed doubles play. That's excellent. Nine points. Eight. One. It's been right on the money One. today. Kim Won Ho. Yeah, it runs in the family. The um, mixed double or doubles play in uh, Kim Won Ho's family. He's the son of former Olympic gold medalist Kim Jong Ah. Also won the world championship in women's double. Oh, yeah. great play. Yeah, he was uh, so the so youngest man, member of the Korean team to play in the 2017 Sudirman Cup. Still a young teenager. And we can see that both him and um, uh, Kang Min Hyuk One. No used to play men's doubles together yeah. and are approximately the same age. Yeah. Now they've split and playing with two more experienced uh, partners and uh, they have really come of age now, making their presence felt in the tournaments. Three. So so Ten. Korean doubles. Nine. Uh, in a good position. It's the Koreans just in front here. He went for it. Beautiful. Into that far 11, corner nine, from Kim. And the Koreans have a two point lead here against the Chinese pair.
What's your assessment so far? What we've seen up till now Kim, in this match, Steve? Kim Von Ho. Um, <laughs> nothing decided really, but I, 11, I think nine, I have a feeling that play. Wang Yilu is uh, struggling. I take it uh, mostly from, I mean, the, the game has been. We, I've seen the last two days yesterday against the Danes, and it's not like he's he's not playing well. We can see that here, but he's not his. Um, so we saw ten, I have a feeling 11. that he's not playing totally freely, and we saw. In the interval, we saw Zhang Jun trying to convey some of his uh, mixed double wish wisdom to uh, Wang Yilu. Um, so, I thought it could go two ways. Either the uh, Chinese was really um, dialed in on getting a, a revenge. They still have that possibility or it could be another tight game with the Koreans gaining confidence that um, they're at the same level as uh, the Chinese right. pair and right now I am I'm leaning a little bit towards the latter of um, those two predictions so to speak but um, that's clever play here and that's what I would do if I were the Chinese I would start targeting uh, Jong No much more deliberately um, She's a, a really, really strong player, but she has some some technical issues that are a little bit awkward. Oi, that's a <laughs> serve that gains a little bit of pace, taking the double tape. Drum on. Awkward that Kim Won Ho. Make it over. And again, killing the attack on uh, Jung. And of course, okay. in the mixed doubles, you would, if you can target the female player um, in the attack. But all the time, you well, won't, you well, won't well, take well. too many risks because the female defense has improved a lot um, over the years. And, um, and taking a, an attacking risk totally out of position mm. might um, make you vulnerable to a counter-attack so you want to have the right possibility it's done well there Wong Yiliu and uh, after trailing before the interval by a couple now 5-1 up since the break a couple of shots where he was so far in the other side Wang Yilu and he had to play Kim beautiful lovely well, well worked yeah. 15, and the Korean they uh, have to come up with a solution Kim how is it, uh, esteem, that if one Thank you. player or a pair yes. does so well prior to the interval, is it literally because it disrupts that momentum? Or is it the reset by the opposition then? Yeah. Is it a combination of both? Because you yeah. sometimes see massive swings, don't you? It, can, it can be a lot of things. I mean, first of all, it's easier. You have more uh, things to say as a coach when you're trailing. <laughs> yes. when, when you're When you're doing well and ahead you, you don't know if, if, if they've gone to like 39 right then um, 
talking and, and, and saying too much would have been wrong. Right. So you don't really know, and, and you think, okay, this is going well, uh, but um, you have to take into account who, who's on the other side, uh, coaching-wise. Is it uh, sure. experienced coaches? What is their normal style? And uh, I mean, there's a lot of things to um, to well, consider. Yeah. I, I ask you because you and I watched a, a massive swing, for example, Kunlava versus Loki Anu, where he got 12 in a row, having trailed at the interval. Yeah. And post interval, he was incredible. Uh, here, we're seeing now seven points scored seven out of the last seven, eight. Seven one. Yeah, yeah. From, by the Chinese. Yeah, I think this this, this is uh, something that the Chinese coaches set straight and said, okay, this is how we do it. <laughs> you can see Zhong has been shut down right. a number seven of times. Yeah. And, and she's not, um, I don't think she's able to defend herself. Not a good play from uh, Kim Won Ho. That wasn't John's fault. He sold her out. Good play. Well, that's nine out of the last ten have gone to Wang and Wang. They've been excellent since the interval. And it looks like they're cruising towards this first game. Better from Kim. And they've got to, um, they've got to try and get the control in the rallies. We saw that yesterday with Matthias Christiansen and Alexander Boy against uh, Bang and uh, Huang. And they were in control of the rallies. Um, they had chances, and a lot had to do with the service situation. There, Wang Yilu gains control. Even if she gets it back, Jong, when they're attacking her, it's not something that's worrying because it's not like she's counter attacking at all. Six shots. Let's click on that. Oh, very good reactions there from Kim Won Ho. Let's push that a bit too far. And so we saw 40. 19. We've got a lot of work to do here. Serviceable, 20, game point, 14. So it's a fine, fine shot there from Kim Won Ho, but it's <laughs> seemingly so too little, too late 15, now. 20. He's been pretty good, hasn't he, so far, Kim? Yeah. He's been good enough so that um, the Chinese have sort of gone more for his uh, partner. Kim. But it's uh, a game fine, fine. First game for Wang and Wang, particularly after the interval, they were excellent. 
dominated. 21-15, game one. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Come. One. Take the shoot. Take the shoot. Oh, sorry. So, Steen, a, a, a pretty good start from Wang and Wang after uh, Kim and Jong actually started fairly well. Yeah, they did. And now they're playing the side where they can play the backcourt with a bit more confidence. So, let's see if that makes uh, a difference for uh, Kim and Jong. They were the ones who chose side in here. And yeah. Um, throughout Second the game. tournament, there's been a slight drift no alongside the court from the Chinese pair towards hey. the Koreans. That gives the Chinese player a little bit more bite in their attack, but they had plenty of bite in the um, second part of the first game anyway, so oh, he's quick on those uh, half-court uh, shots there. One. Kim won horse no. uh, service return not helping the Korean course. Got to get it below tape. Well played. Nicely done. Doesn't make it over. Too long. Quick start here from Wang and Huang. So pinning um, Jong. To the back line. We've got to have a plan for how to uh, get it to the front court. Good play. And if they can play it below the tape, to especially one, Wang Yilu here, two. he doesn't have that many options uh, if lifting to the back court. The drift comes into play, and if playing upwards to the mid court area, we've seen that. Uh, Kim Won Ho is uh, strong in that area as well. Thank you. I'll give her a lot of confidence because it looked like she was starting to lack a bit of. It seemed like she was uh, lacking a bit of confidence. So they've drawn level after a bright start by Wang and Huang. That was 
It's uh, just out though, <coughs> pushing it. One. Three, two. Well, that's fallen short. So we saw three on. <laughs> it's clear the. Uh, the crowd is definitely in uh, favour of the Koreans. Four, three. Frustration there from uh, Jong Nan. She played that shot. And we've got, uh, well, it's good to see, because to our left, we've got some Chinese fans. But it is uh, so time so to serve four, has been a bit wanting. One. Something they're going to want to improve on. Oh, he's gambled. He's got that very, very wrong. Wong Yi Liu. That was well, well in. Yeah. It's coming, it's coming into um, <laughs> coming into play there. Outside the picture, Jong Un is so uh, throwing so her racket. Six, the first seven. defense was actually quite good, but um, Wang and uh, Huang were insisting. Yeah. Seven. So caught up there. Yeah, and one he knew. Went down on her. <laughs> Maybe she could tell. <laughs> she thought she, he missed yeah. it. Yeah. Seven. Game two after trailing the first one and now on that other on that far end, Steve. Well, I think they were pretty much um, 
try and, and play their own um, game plan. But I, but I think they, they have to um, consider how can they protect uh, Jong. But that's basically originally most likely part of the Korean game plan uh, to protect the female player. They have to be a little bit more alert to it here. But, but the Koreans, uh, in general, their style is not like uh, changing a lot. Right. Uh, comparing so to, to the, the opponents, they, they stick to their guns, wow. so to speak. Okay. And, I mean, in, in Europe, a player with, um, so with so of, of Jong's good. playing strength would, would, of course, be welcome, but but you would have um, question marks whether some of her technical um, skills. But I've seen Korea uh, come out with a player who had very little um, technical and movement skills in the um, beginning of her career. And then every time I saw her in a new tournament, so she's learned a little bit. Right. Eight, eight, yeah. eight, she was becoming a little bit better. And now, 11-8, up at the interval here. It's identical to what we saw in the first game. The Korean's up here. Eleven, eight, play. So the Koreans once again leading at the interval, but we know what happened in the last game. The Chinese came storming back. Didn't see much flatter lift. She's made her way to the front court. Excellent play by the Koreans. A flatter lift from uh, Kim Won Ho gives his partner a better chance of surviving. Eight. The attack from uh, Wang Yilu and uh, makes her way to the front court and uh, advantage Korea. Well, that is uh, well, well out of the serve. Service over. Nine. Pointing. Twelve. Very um, animated there. <laughs> you felt, uh, Steve, there's not been too much sideways drift uh, in this tournament, right? No, there's been just a tiny little bit, but it shouldn't really mean anything yeah. for the doubles, practically. They um, normally don't play that close to the lines. Oi. How often do you see two subs in a row like that? So it's all. <laughs> 39. One from either side. And just to uh, make that long story, I started before the uh, interval short. The player 49. mentioned coming forward yeah. with uh, poor technical skills. In my opinion, she ended up winning Olympic gold. <laughs> and that just proves that badminton can be learned. It's not like some players are born with better skills for it. You have your body, you can't change that. Some are tall, some are yeah. shorter. But apart nine. from that, it's about being a good learner and having expert advice. Talking about learning, the Koreans seem to have learned from the last game. Yeah, but um, they can play. Look at that, good flat lift again. They're chasing Wang Yilu. Excellent play. So you, you're feeling now they're keeping things as flat as possible. They're keeping the lift flatter so he don't get time. And uh, you can see Jung Noon doesn't have a bad defense. But if she's consistently targeted where Wang Yilu has time, then it becomes difficult because then he can go 
right side, left side, uh, right 16, armpit, um, blocked, um, or disguised drop shots and so on. If you don't, don't have time, then you don't have all those options. It's gone long. Well, it's... Uh, 5-2 now, since the interval in favour of the Koreans. Oh, certainly been playing much better. Wow. So oh, really Seventeen. Good. Dominant at the moment, the Koreans. 18, 10. What a turnaround this has been. Yeah, they can't get a break here, the Chinese. Oh, but uh, 19, they're probably uh, also uh, realizing that they have to let this game go. Thinking about uh, game three already. Better. Slow whistle. Eleven. Nineteen. Game points now for the Koreans. Service of 12, 20. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, this is uh, now fascinating. Game. This match. Level. 
we're going to see shades of what happened last week in Malaysia. Lee and Kim coming to this having won the second game. try and stamp them out again so the service situation is super important it's the um, third and fourth shot that we should um, yeah. pay attention to oh. nice block from uh, Huang Dongping yeah, there's the flat one Trust. Yeah. Heavily in favor of one pair, then the other. Reminder again. And they faced off. Drive serve. <coughs> and they play Three. from uh, Huang Dongping. Long. Asia. Wang and Huang won the first game 21 12. Kim and Jong won the second 22 20. The third one went in their favor 23 21. I'm sure, that is all the back of the minds at the moment of both sets of players. Played Good that late. Yep. Indecision from. Uh, one, three. Wang Yilu. that it's not a Wang Yilu in uh, Olympic shape. Does, does this add a bit of that justification to this, the splitting? That yeah, yeah they, they are, uh, they're searching. To that corner. Four, three. It was about this time last year when uh, Wang and Tung were split up. We'll be seeing them in action a little bit later on. Now it looks like it's, uh, it's happening with the other pair. Good talk. Playing from above the tape, Kim. Trying to get Three. it back long. Oh. She's directing uh, the defense. It's one of the situations where we get a little bit of um, a chance because, I mean, even though Huang Dongping is strong, it's not her key competence in putting it away on the no. front court. She right. still can do it and uh, probably rate her around um, four or five in the world or so, just off the top of my head. But um, Huang Ya Chong would have probably stood on that um, reply from Jong Naun and uh, put it away. Five. And 
goal for the Koreans to get it below the tape, preferably to Wang Yilu. That takes that. She will uh, put those away for fun. Fun for pink. She isn't the uh, problem at the moment for the Chinese pair. His defense. So well, they needed a bit of help. <laughs> they got it there. A few serves like that. And Chang Jun behind the court is signaling downwards, downwards, downwards. To his players. by uh, Huang Dongping. The Koreans trying to uh, move Huang Yilu from side to side, but uh, Six. Huang Dongping was there. <coughs> Good discussion here. Jong Kim. Yeah. well in these opening stages of all three games so far the Koreans and they sustain it here in the third oh, delightful you probably need that as well you nine seven and that's good variation because I mean good Korean pair, Kim probably is expecting he had had to help Jong in the defense and you've got to keep him honest by attacking him once in a while. Probably you want a situation that your opponent is not aware of uh, Ten, seven. your own game plan. So that's why I felt they targeted Jong Naun, the Chinese, a lot in the first game. Much better variation now. Kim directing Sorry, that at Wang Dongping. Oh, it was just where she wanted it. Not often she misses one of those.
was his signal there no. uh, from uh, Wang Yu to Wang Dongping? Uh, probably that he uh, would have liked her to play it straight. That cross there left him covering a lot of uh, space. Good coverage by Jong. So they had a, a nice no. lead of three points. Oh. It's just evaporated. Yeah. It's gone. It's all square. Uh, Wang Dongping, I think. She had a wound on her right knee already yesterday, and I think maybe that's Thank you. come up here. So for the first Point time ball. in this match, it's the Chinese game. pair, Wang and Wang, who has a lead and at the interval. It's 11-10 in game three. So, this is 11, another very 10, close affair, 10. at least at the interval. But for the first time, it's Wang and Wang who have the lead here. And very interesting to see what the Chinese are coming up with. What plan do they have? They lost no! convincingly no! in the second Run. game on this Run. side here. But uh, two more points for Huang and Wang, and then suddenly they can see the light. they did here they really tried to target uh, Jung Naun and um, wasn't successful I think they need to either get it steep or play a disguised drop shot yeah, well done and one of the ideas Sorry could be exactly Sorry. this that um, that Huang Dong Ping takes up the uh, sort of women's doubles challenge against Jung Naun and Wang Yilu covers the front court. Beautiful play by the Koreans. Very nice. Chinese combination spread all over the floor. Now Wang Yiliu is on the ground. He's taking a long time to get up. Landing on that uh, 
right hand side. And just, I think, well, he's just clutching his side for a second. Yeah. Thank you. I think they're okay. We saw yesterday that he's got his right arm straight. You can see it here. No, you can't see it here because that's a shuttle, but <laughs> I can tell you that I can see it here in the hall. Lars Batmanson, always fantastic. His uh, right arm is uh, strapped. Yeah, I can just, just saw a glimpse of it there. Me? Yes. Good block. Oh, what a shot. What a rally, Brilliant. fantastic play. Excellent. And he's gone down again and he, oh, I think he hurt himself. 13, on. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> oh, yeah. seems to be the same area. Wang Liu. He was clutching just a while ago and he's dived on that same Wang side Liu. again. We're gonna need some assistance here. That's a fantastic shot. And then Kim saving those. And the instinct is there. Nice of uh, Chong Naun <laughs> to sort of bow for the efforts that uh, the opponents were doing. Uh, we're having the doctor on uh, court now. Now I know it's it's 13 all and points one since interval. It's it's negligible. It's just one point more yeah. uh, for the Koreans. But it feels like the momentum is with them, Steen, over the last couple of just the way they're playing, the way they're approaching things. I know we've got the injury to Wang Yilu potentially, but just feels that like the way they're approaching things, you, you like what you see? Yeah, I mean, we, we think that um, they should be the favorites now based on the second game, but we also must expect that the Chinese have a better plan. So they're just taking a graze there. Yeah, Point Kong Ping, still focused on winning, <laughs> talking. <laughs> Tactics, what are we going to do when you uh, <laughs> have received your treatment? Treatment. I mean, in many ways as well, this medical timeout has, might also work in their favor just to take the sting out of that momentum that perhaps Kim and Jung would also have been building up. They, they obviously wanted to just get on with it, Kim and Jung, if, if all things were equal. Yeah, I don't think they mind. Let's see. If you start losing three rallies in a row, then you start thinking, oh, <laughs> that interval was not to our benefit, which might have happened anyway. Let's see this next one. Fascinating now. Wide. Oh, we shouldn't have played that one, Kim. You think that was going out, that one? Yeah. Yep. We were already more concerned about whether he was 100% anyway coming into this. Yeah. <laughs> Wang Dong Ping looks frustrated. Talking to a partner. Yeah, the thing is, we can't feel his body, uh, so he might have had a sudden sting in his hip or yeah. his knee. Yeah. Whilst playing that shot. So well, Jong Aun here. There's been uh, 15, almost 14. a total uh, shutdown of um, the Chinese attack in terms of scoring points on her. Yeah, turnaround, isn't it? Because Jong was looking a bit out of sorts in that first game. Good play. It's one gong ping. So yeah. 14. Puts it into that far corner, and now perhaps Kim has also just grazed himself. Yeah, yeah that arm is caught underneath, and he's also clutching his side, but... Uh, I think maybe 
He's got some strapping on his stomach in the first place. I think for the, for the top players here, if you don't have a bit of kinesio tape on you, then you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> it's kind of de rigueur to have that, is it? No? Yeah. <laughs> Still life in this third game, only one point between them. What a battle we're having here. one you were referring to, right, for uh, Kim Won-ho. Prior to that. We're all square now. Could be another flicker. <laughs> Super cross from uh, so Kim Won-ho. So yeah, but it was because Huang uh, Yilu missed it, yes. And as long as he's missing it, we play it on and on and on again. Yep. It's going well. It's done well. Good. Yeah, he probably it's needed that. Yeah. Confidence perhaps at the moment be a bit shot. Probably not what uh, Kim expected, that he was the target of that drop shot from Huang Dongping and had to take a quick decision. Got it wrong? Just ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Foot foot so it's about ball. 17 on foot. Yeah, that's on the server. It's, it's the service judge who calls it, and that means that he, he's oh, taking oh, care of the servers and the umpire is taking care of the receivers. Yes, line, line, line. Now they're trying to seek some clarification. One, one, come in, come, 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 come. What? Sir, he just given good ball for line setting. Standing on the line. Well played. We thought. We couldn't really see it here. One, 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 come here. Go, go and play. Go and play. Uh, Chinese are pointing towards the. Uh, screen in the uh, corner of the arena here but there is no replay There's of no re such calls they, they have no recourse of action no no that that's decided you can't point to the screen good, good. it doesn't really matter yeah so even if they had a case steam they couldn't do anything they can't do anything about it no. right yeah if we could see it all totally clear that there was no fault We had a situation, an unfortunate situation in Hilo Open, and we can't see it here. Oh, we can see it. One, one, play. Yeah. I mean, apart from play. the shoelace, I tend to side with uh, the Chinese, I have to say that. I, you sympathize, but... Yeah. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. Now, if there's a, a bigger question of whether later on we could have assistance for calls outside of 
you, what we currently have, then that's a different conversation. You, you can only use Hawkeye right. to review the lines yes. on the court. Everything else is as it stands, it cannot be reviewed. Correct. And my point is, that's another conversation if you want to talk about reviewing yes. other things, right? Players know that. Stood their ground. Just finally on that, on that contra so-called controversial point. It, as much as they know the rules, it, it's probably that human nature of guys, you know, yeah. they've lost their their thought for a second. They know the rules, obviously. Uh, I'm not even sure they <laughs> they know. Difficulties there. Yeah. Wang Yilu. Look Happy. where Kim is hitting. That's the one. Kim? Is that okay? Just no, wonder whether his head has gone a bit. Yeah, I think. I don't, I'm not sure he can get the stands that he really wants there due to knee problems. Huh? 19. So Kim 18. and Joe, 19 18. Crowd now firmly behind Kim and Jong. Oh, what better. a beauty. That's better from Wang Yiliu. So it's all 19 on. Never play the drop shot there. There's a defiant shout there from Huang Dongping. I can see he's not standing on the line at the moment. And he's <laughs> checking himself. <laughs> yeah. The problem is you start to think about it. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, Again. he's done two in a row. Nerveless. Wang Liu, a wry smile there from Jong Naun. 20, mid point, 19. Don't celebrate too early. With two of those disguised drop shots has <laughs> worked wonders. And Wang Dong Ping is delighted. That yes. has set up match point. Again. I'll reiterate that. Last week, when they faced off, it was a fascinating one. It finished 23 21. <laughs> they have made it just about. Wang Yilu, Huang Dongping, they're not necessarily 100%, but Steve, what a match we've had. Uh, fantastic uh, first semi-final here in this mixed double. And I think that um, football server really uh, fueled the Chinese that they wanted it just a little bit extra. Finding some uh, resources that he didn't know he had, Wang Yilu. Well, they'll be delighted there, Wang Yiliu, along with Wang Dongping. The fourth seeds, Chinese, have been a very much improved Kim Won-ho, Jong Naun this year. 21-15, 12 21-19. Okay. Match on by Wang Yiliu and Wang Dongping. 21-15, 12-21, 21-19.
We are in New Delhi, of course, capital of India, in the northern part of the country for the Super 750 now here at the uh, India Open. It's been promoted from a Super 500. And we've got some of the biggest names in badminton 